And last one for me. Try to put me on the spot, don't you? <laughs> last one for me. Um, a big fight next weekend as well with Hamzat Shemaev and Nate Diaz. How do you break down that fight? How do you see that going down? Well, this fight is at, uh, is at welterweight. I think it favors, uh, the odds will be towards Shimaev. I think it favors him because of that. However, Nate Diaz, you, you, you can't never count, count him out. He's very well-rounded, he's very durable, and it, takes, it will take a lot to, to try to, to put him away. And Kamzat, it's gonna be a tough challenge because he only went to the distance in his last fight, I believe, so, and, and, and I think he grew incredibly uh, from that fight. He learns, he learns a lot. So I think we're gonna see a better version of Kamzat, still better than what he was. So um, it's gonna be an interesting fight, but if I would have to bet on that fight, of course, I would have to go with the odds and, and favor uh, Kamzat Shimaev. Right here. Yes, please. So, um, what do you think that Nadia's legacy stands after this last fight? Nate Diaz did a great performance when he fought Leon Edwards. Uh, he was losing the fight, but he finished very strong. He rocked Leon Edwards, and he had a very strong finish. And it, it proves us once again, to, to us once again that. It's never over until it's over, you know, and anything can happen. And then you, we saw what happened uh, the uh, other last weekend. Leon Edwards was losing the fight, but he did a beautiful setup with a high kick and won the, the welterweight title. So anything can happen in, in uh, this game. 